Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 PS3 review add-on. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the DLC for the X-Men Origins Wolverine Uncaged Edition on, obviously I've already said the PlayStation, but I'm pretty sure the DLC is on the Xbox as well. Um, basically, it's a bit of a jip, to be fair. It's uh, £4 and you get, it says one new level and four training simulators. The new level is basically the training simulators. It's like a hub to get to them which is a bit of a shame and the training simulators themselves are pretty terrible to be fair. So here we go then, this is basically the level, it's a single white room with four doors. The doors lead to the different test areas, you have the enemy test room which is fight a wave of custom enemies, the ladder challenge room which is survival mode, the dismemberment room which is hilarious because it is so laughably bad I can't wait to show that one off, the environmental kill room which is the first one I'm going to show off, and the whole point is in this room you just run around killing people using the environmental hazards that are placed all over the place and there's no challenges or anything like that it's just messing around for fun it is quite simply a training mode they've charged four pound something like six dollars i think it is in the states any in that to be fair i don't know if it changes for canadian dollars stuff like that but they've charged money for training modes what's next are they going to start charging for tutorial modes maybe they'll start charging for the end credits of a game to be fair i'd actually prefer that because the amount of times i want to just skip them i don't mind the end credits when they actually show something but when it's just boring black background with white text it does me head in anyway you just run around and murder things and they don't even count towards your statistics. Um, the statistics, in case you're wondering, basically, you, it's like how many kills you've got and kills in certain ways and it's to get achievements and it's to get trophies and stuff. There's like what I do best, which is 2,000 kills. There's Blender, which is kill 200 people with your claw spin move. Stuff like that. There's all sorts of them and you, these kills don't even count towards those totals, which is just madness because... That would be the uh, at least make it some sort of use, but instead, the only way really to uh, fill them up if you didn't do them the first time when going through the game is to quite literally just play the levels again, play your favourite sections over and over again, instead of just doing this. At least had you been able to do that in here, it would kind of make sense. But anyway, I've mentioned the dismemberment mode and how laughably bad it is, might as well show it off. So, this is it. When I heard of dismemberment mode, I thought, that sounds really cool. I thought this is going to be some sort of challenge mode where you have to select what body part you yourself have to run over and then cut off. And if you don't cut that one off, then you fail. Instead, you select a body part for, well, you just select a body part and then you hit the button and it automatically dismembers. Funny the first time you see it, then you realize this is part of what you've paid your money for. Anyway. Survival mode, you pretty much know what that's going to be, survive against tons of enemies, might as well show off the other interesting one, the one where it's create custom waves, because at least there is some, I suppose, fun to be had with this one, because as I say, you're creating custom waves of enemies, so, anyway, just uh, go over the uh, console now, you get to select any of the enemies that you've fought, I believe, that's how it works and that, and it's just one of those things, you just have to create a playlist, I suppose, of enemies and then fight them and survive. So I suppose you can at least have some challenge with that and some fun with that. Because if you've got me two are into the game, then they can say, right, that you can like create playlists for each other and say, fight this here, then that there, then this here, and at least kind of like time yourselves in how well you've done and stuff. But uh, as you can see, time it to separate between the waves, and then they just appear, all in their glory, spent, splendor, whatever you want to say. So that's literally it, that's the DLC. Personally, I think it's a massive rip-off. I feel incredibly cheated for paying the money for this, even though I suppose it was my own stupid fault, because what did I expect? But it's pretty naff, and only really worth it if you got the game for cheap enough to be considered that you could pay the extra £4 to get the complete game, I suppose because that's pretty much what I end off classing DLC as really a case of how much did I pay for the game, is it worth it overall? So there we go then, that's been the review. I hope you've enjoyed it, or at least found it helpful. You might have noticed I didn't score the game. Well that's because it's a matter of personal opinion, and yours may very well differ from my own. I'm just here to show you a bit about the game. If you like it or not, well that's up to you. If you don't like it, or you do like it, feel free to comment. Also. If I haven't answered any of your questions that you may have had, I might have forgot something, or it might just be something obscure. Again, feel free to comment, ask, always willing to help out. Otherwise, if you don't like commenting on YouTube, head over to www.vc-forums.com 
where you can chat with me and a bunch of other lads who love the VC, the WiiWare and hell, even a lot of other systems. We cater to pretty much everything. You can just go there, have a chat about a game, ask about some games, etc. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.